Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make tacos de bistec, which are just steak tacos. They are really easy to make and super delicious, so hopefully you'll give them a try. The preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be less than 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Remember, you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. We will start by seasoning the steaks with a splash of extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. Season them on both sides and after that, now we're going to cook the steaks, so just heat up a skillet and since the steaks are already seasoned with some oil, you don't need to add any more oil to the skillet so just heat up the skillet and once it's nice and hot, now we're going to cook the steaks until they change in color. And the steaks I'm using are very thin, so I'll only cook them for about 30 to 40 seconds on each side. Just until they change in color, you don't have to cook them completely because uh, if you overcook them, they will be really hard. So after they lose that pinkish color, um, just set them aside for about 2 or 3 minutes before you slice them. Now in that same skillet, now we're going to cook the chorizo. And we will cook the chorizo for about 5 to 6 minutes or until it's nice and brown and cooked. So just grab a spoon and break the chorizo until it's completely minced. And cook it until it's nice and brown. If you want, you can add some onion right in there with the chorizo, some uh, minced onion and just cook it with the chorizo for about 5-6 to six minutes. The onion will add some flavor and some texture. But for this recipe, I'm not going to be adding any onion. I want my tacos to be only chorizo and steak. So I'm not going to be adding any onion. So while the chorizo is cooking, now we're going to chop the steaks into small pieces. So just cut them to your desired size. This will be the filling for our tacos, so I want them to be nice and small. I'm going to cut them into tiny little pieces, but some people prefer to cut the steaks into strips, into thin strips, so whatever shape and size that you prefer will be fine. So after that, once the chorizo is cooked, now we're going to add in the steak back into the skillet, stir to combine and continue to cook for another one or two more minutes or until the steak is heated through and completely cooked. Like I said, my steak was really thin so it's already completely cooked. So I'm just going to stir together for about a minute and then I'm going to be ready to serve. If you need to cook this for a longer time, feel free to do so until the steak is completely cooked. And that's about it. Once the steak is completely cooked, you're ready to serve. So to make the tacos, just grab the tortilla, add some of the filling right on the center and to serve them, just garnish the tacos with chopped cilantro and chopped onions and serve them with lime wedges and your favorite salsa and that's about it. Enjoy! To print these and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!